Communications Director of the MPP and Adenta Member of Parliament, Yabwabea Samwa, is urging the police to kickstart investigations into the conduct of former Minister of State Roxim Bukhari. Mr. Bukhari, who resigned last night after allegations he had attempted to bribe a journalist to kill a story, uh, has been has released a statement expressing his uh, speaking about his own part of the story. Mr. Samoa says the president has done his part by accepting his resignation, and the state security apparatus must now take steps to deal with the alleged act of corruption in which he is involved. If there is anything actionable by way of criminal intent, that ought not to be stopped. I think it's part of the process where we get to the point that we all realize we are not above the law and that we should be responsible for our actions. This is a society where for a long time the notion of discipline in public life uh, has gone to the dogs. There's a lot of impunity. People across board, not just public officials, not just leaders, but generally it's a state of malaise. Everybody appears to do what they like. The law is observed only in the breach. And when the law does bite, then we all troop to go and try and encourage the police not to do anything. We've had a situation with the vigilantism issue and all that. That's why we are now saying that nobody will be shielded by a political party when they do something violent or otherwise against the system. You cannot cite a party chairman or somebody else to come and rescue you. When the law catches up with you, the law will deal with you. Well, Will the president do that? Will he commission a separate investigation into the conduct of uh, Mr. Bukhari? Really, I, I think the resignation letter, the police should be up and doing. I think for they themselves, they should initiate something voluntarily if they believe that there is something that's actionable. There are two levels. You know, there's the ethical level where he's resigned. I think it takes care of that in terms of his conduct, that he has taken responsibility. He has forfeited his position. That is very important. That's ethical. And then there is the actionable level. It depends on whether there is criminality in the tape and they can find a provision in the criminal code to deal with. I think it's but, also... But for you, this is something the police should be interested in and, and, and begin looking into it. That's your position. F for me, it is a question of whether or not there is anything to follow up. If the man has resigned and there is anything to follow up, it means that we go all the way and demonstrate that we are in a new era indeed. And that is what I think is happening now. There are things happening around this president that demonstrate a certain adherence to rule of law. As an example, we must all follow. Member of Parliament for Adenta and NPP's uh, Director of Communications speaking there. But the minority Member of Parliament and ranking member on the Communications Committee, ABA Fuseni, does not have confidence in the police's ability to look into this particular issue. All his appointees against whom serious allegations have been made and evidence presented, he will sweep it under the carpet and the President will be the same person to clear those people of corrupt acts. What should be the right? What kind of, what kind of signal is he sending? No wonder. Every week, MPP, the slogan is now one week, one scandal. You are getting them every week involved in acts of corruption because they, they are aware that nothing will happen to them. There, there, there are some who are asking the police to step in and, and deal with Roxin Bukhari. My brother, do you really think, do you really, do you really believe that the police can do anything about this matter? When the president himself is aware and is taking no action, the, which policeman? The IGP. You think the IGP wants to lose his job? He's afraid. He can't what, touch what, this what, matter. What so, so, no, but, so your position is that um, nothing would happen? Nothing fact, would happen. The director of communications of the MPP has also asked the police to step in. Which, po which police? Which police is he asking to step in? I'm, I'm just telling you that this is just empty rhetoric. They want to be seen that they are calling on the law. Should, should, should it be the director of communication for the MPP who should be calling the police to act? The police don't know. Are you telling me that ever since the table was played, the police have heard it? The IGP has said, Madam Tiwa, who is a specialist in tape, who was, herself was caught on tape, saying that uh, yeah, by near, yeah, making sure say, yeah, 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 the police herself, who, com who was complicit in the cover-up herself, you think she's going to do anything about it? She this is a woman who, is on who has a track record and is on record to have pronounced that they should make it palatable for the government and not embarrass the government with corruption cases. You think this woman is going to have the nerve to do anything about this matter? So you don't have confidence do on that front? Nothing. Should the police step in? Uh, should parliament step in? As an That's what I'm saying. That You see, that is the, the verdict of the good people of this country. The people of this country should pass a, a damning verdict on the Akufuado government for the corruption that mindless uh, and, and numerous acts of corruption they have engaged in and the president doesn't have the nerve to even take one of them on. Not one. So Not one. 
we should all just put arms and watch. No, no, I'm saying that that's for civil society and everybody to be sensitized to know that this is what is happening in the country. And that the president has now demonstrated a clear act of inability to fight corruption. Clear that he has no clue. Not only does he not have a clue, he has no commitment to fight corruption. And, and these are examples. When even his appointees, we saw even boss, when they talked about the, the fraud in the, the contaminated fuel, they just asked the guy to go. Nothing has happened. Okay? Uh, uh, many cases that have come up, uh, uh, allegations that were made against Ajako, they asked him to go. Allegations that are made against go, and, 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 and nothing happens. Is that how you run a country?